Hello everyone, today I'm doing some tidying up in the polytunnel but I thought I'd explain to you why I'm doing it on the wrong day. Now normally I do all my indoor jobs on a sort of rainy inclement day so if it's rain, snow, hail I go inside and work and when it's dry I go outside in the plot and do whatever I need to do. But I started this uh, a in here a good few days ago put a few things away in the shed did a little bit of a tidy up and you'll see in a minute and then due to circumstances at home i've had to have a good few days away from the plot i've come back this job's half finished and that's why i'm doing it on a dry day normally i'll be out here doing stuff on the actual plot itself but i can get this finished this morning and get something moved on ready for the tunnel. I can get all the timbers sorted out in here today. Uh, so that's the plan. To get properly tidied up in there, get some ground dug over and move forward. So many would still say this is untidy and I would have to agree with them and a lot, of, a lot more of this will be tidied as the months go by. Um, simply because the stuff here that I'm using and the will then need to be put away. For example these cracky uh, grown Chinese cabbage. I'm going to rate this as, as a success. I am incredibly happy with these but with the caveats that it's taken far too long. I really wanted these for Christmas. Didn't quite happen and I think that's due to that cold spell we had at the start of December. But I've got two lovely cabbage there that I can take home and we'll eat this week. Then these tubs can be moved. I've moved the other ones which incidentally the four tubs you could see up the end also had Chinese cabbage in and they succumbed. So I'm nearly there with this thing that I've had for a number of years now um, to grow Chinese cabbage at the wrong time of the year because I want to eat them around that Christmas period time. So I'm quite happy with that. So they can be cleared off and all this bed can then be cleared off and dug over and it's then ready uh, for spring. Now. I use outside here, all these beds out here, they're all no dig. In this tunnel at present we're not no dig at all. Um, well, I say at all. This bed up here is no dig and I've got a tiny little portion over there with the spades stuck in the ground that's no dig where I did a trial a couple of years ago. But I'll get this, this one here dug over tidied up and I can get this tidied up here and then I've got all these polytunnel timbers that's all the timber work for all the doors and door frames and um, uh, base rail for the polytunnel that I've already started work on. I want to get all these unwrapped today sorted out so that I know what's what what's going where and then tomorrow I can start to assemble all that onto the tunnel and then that's ready then uh, for a warmer day where I can get the cover on. So we're quite close to finishing the tunnel because this won't take that long at all. I should get all the timber on the frame tomorrow. So yeah, just a little bit of tidying. These beds on this side, um, I've just been emptying pots and trays. You can see all the compost spreading it around. These need digging over, tidying up, and then they're ready for spring use so I can sow seeds in there or plant them up or whatever. Along the top up here, even though at the moment I know produce is short in the shops, I've got some salad mixes in these mushroom trays at various stages. This is one I sowed just recently. This is the brassica mix. I sowed this all the way back at the end of November. Then they froze in the big freeze. But that's all brassicas. That's all for stir fry. And that is fantastic. Again, it was old seed, so even better. I've got my onions there. Don't grow a lot of them, but I've got some to grow. Some cauliflowers, some spring onions in here, multi-sown. Some are just starting to come through. And my sweet peas. These are getting close to being pinched out. Now, although last autumn I sowed broad beans and planted them out in two areas on the allotment, they succumb to the cold because they only hard eat down to minus 10 and they all died so I quickly sowed some more and I've got these ready to go out and this here was just a little trial 
radish in a tray as well. So that's pretty much where we're up to in here. We'll get digging now and get this, um, get all this side dug over, made nice and raked down. So with these beds now dug over and roughly raked, these are now ready. But I have noticed whilst doing it, the ground is a bit dry. So I'm gonna water it. And I wanna water it because I want the weeds to grow. Any weed seeds that I've dis disturbed whilst I've been digging it will now germinate and I can hoe them off. And over the coming weeks, I'll hoe them or I'll use my big claw to run through the soil, disturb them all, get more to grow and hoe those off as well. And that will just make everything so much easier with less weeds to germinate during the spring. And I'm gonna water them with the water out of these. So let's have a look at these. So I'm going to use the water out of these cracky barrels to water those beds over there to encourage the weed growth to come up. And essentially, if I pull this up, you'll see the roots coming out from these Chinese cabbage because these are just in a little basket with some clay inert pebbles in there. You just slip your plant in and your plant grows away in the mixed feed and water in there. So I can now harvest that, remove that and take it home. It's exactly the same with that one. So they're a success. And if it wasn't for that freeze that we had at the start of December, I reckon they'd have been ready for Christmas and I would have achieved my ambition or aim. So they're ready to take home. I can use the water in these to water them beds. Got this final bed dug over, raked and watered. The same as those beds over there. And you can see I've got some of the polytunnel timbers ready for in the morning for me to unwrap and start putting together. Up here is the no dig bed, just wants a very light weeding and some more compost chucked on. And that's all the base rail timbers over there. And that'll help to finish this off, but that's just about done in here. Although it's the wrong day for working indoors, simply because it's not raining. I normally do all my work undercover when it's raining. When it's like this glorious sunshine, I'm normally outside on the plot. I'm actually starting to sweat in this um, woolly fleece thing, but never mind. I've got most of the work done in here now, ready for spring, which is a bonus. I'm glad I come today to finish it off because I'd started it about a week ago and then had to down tools while I attended to things at home. So we're all ready to go now and I can crack on now with these timbers for the polytunnel, get that a stage closer to getting the cover on. So I'm very happy with progress today. Well, that's it for today. Look after yourselves, everyone. Please stay safe. I'll see you all very, very soon. Ta-ra now.